Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge India once again. This is the part 2 video in the AWCCS series. Now in this video we are going to talk about different networking modes which are available with ECS. So there are four modes, bridge, AWS VPC, host and none. Of course most of the times you either use bridge or AWS VPC but we'll try to talk about all four of them. So let us go ahead. First mode is the bridge mode. This is also kind of the default mode, right? Uh, in our part one video, we used the bridge mode. So it is very simple to understand and let's try and see that how does it work. So uh, when you go ahead and use bridge mode, what happens is each and every container or task in this uh, language or in AWS language, you can say it as task. Of course, a task can comprise of multiple containers. The point is every container will get its own IP, right? Like you can do port mapping between your containers, a particular port, and you can map it to an EC2 port, right? So what happens, the important thing to understand here is that in case one container has to talk to the other container, so how would the traffic flow? When, you know, first of all, the traffic will come to your EC2 instance. So whatever is the IP address of your EC2 instance, first it will come there and there at that level, there will be something called Docker zero bridge or I mean, it's kind of a common point you can think it, right? So it's like a common point at your EC2 instance level or host level. And then from there, it looks at the port mapping. So for example, uh, let's say some traffic comes to this right side EC2 instance and it comes to, uh, so this is the IP address of this EC2 instance 10.1.2.11. On this, when it comes, let's say it comes on port 80, for example. So what will happen further? Uh, it will check that port 80 of the EC2 instance is mapped to which container and which port. So it, may, it might be possible that port 80 of this EC2 instance is mapped to this container's 4567 port. So it will just go there. And it might happen that port, let's say 443 of this EC2 instance is mapped to some other container, right? So here, what, what, is, what is one thing which you need to understand? That at your EC2 instance level, a port can be mapped only to one particular container. That is something which you need to know. So when the network mode is bridge, the task utilizes Docker's built-in virtual network, which runs inside each container instance. I hope you are getting an idea of it. Uh, we also sh showed you this particular thing in the previous video. Next type of networking is AWS VPC. Now this is very similar to how you have seen networking works in case of EC2 instances. Uh, and this is also compliant to latest CNCF guidelines, which is basically like which, which complies with CNI, Container Networking Interface. So here in simple terms, what happens is each and every container gets an ENI attached. And you know what happens when an ENI gets attached? With an ENI, you get a private IP address. Also, security groups get attached at the ENI level, right? So here, now, now what is happening? If you go with AWS VPC mode, each and every container will get its own IP address. And of course, it will have its own security group attached there as well. So within an EC2 instance, if let's say you have got three or four containers running, no problem. All four of them will have their own IP address and you can attach different security groups on every container because you know security groups get attached at ENI level. If you have not watched our ENI video, I'll leave the link in the description. You can watch it. Okay. You can think it like this. Each and every container now decides or controls that on which port it will accept traffic and on which port it will not accept traffic. It need not depend on that one common bridge or one common point at the host level as it was depending in the bridge mode okay so if the network mode is aws vpc the task is allocated 
an ENI and you must specify a network configuration when you create a service or run a task with the task definition. I will show you AWS VPC demo as well. In this video, I want to explain you the concept so that you are clear with the difference, clear in your mind with the difference between AWS VPC mode and the bridge mode, right? Uh, of course, if you are, you know, if you are using Amazon ECS optimized AMI, the latest AMI, then uh, it has necessary package to support AWS VPC mode. Uh, Fargate, if you go with Fargate model, it supports only VPC mode, only AWS VPC mode and not the bridge mode. Uh, so just to know that, you know, the latest guidelines which CNCF has issued, which, uh, you know, for the container networking, AWS VPC complies to that. So, uh, you know, our networking kind of becomes very simple if we use AWS VPC mode, but then this is comparatively new. It came somewhat recently, whereas bridge uh, has been there forever, right? So these are two. So I just to summarize, because it is important to, to understand the difference between bridge and AWS VPC. In case of bridge, you had the security group applied at the EC2 level, right? There is no ENI attachment per container. Whereas in case of AWS VPC mode, you will have ENI attached at per container level, right? And hence you can have security groups also attached or associated at per container level because security groups get associated at the ENI level. So I hope with that you are clear and the, you know about the difference between the two. Then there are two more, which we can just talk very quickly there is one mode which is called none. So basically, if you don't want any networking uh, at your container level, then you can go ahead and choose none. So it disables all the networking and uh, there won't be any specific IP configured at your container level, right? So if you set it up as none, then what happens is containers will not have any external connectivity. And of course, you can also not do any port mappings, right, with the host. So very rarely you will go ahead and use this. Let's say you want to create a container which will just come up, do some processing and just write the result there itself in the volume. And then, you know, maybe in that case, you will go ahead and use the none. But most of the times bridge or AWS VPC is something which you're gonna use. The last and the final type is host type, right? So uh, if you go ahead and use the host network mode, what happens is, here, when we are saying host in ECS context, host is nothing but our EC2, right? Where our containers are running. So all the interfaces from the host will be available to the container. So all the, EN, in this case also, same like bridge, ENI is get attached at the EC2 level, okay? But containers will have access to those ENIs. Please understand, ENIs get attached to EC2 level only and hence security groups as well get attached to EC2 level, right? In the net, if the network mode is host, this is important to understand, the task bypasses Docker's built-in virtual network and maps container ports directly to EC2 instances network interface directly. In this mode, you can't run multiple instantiations of the same task on a single container instance when port mappings are used. So now this is kind of similar to our, uh, you know, this is very similar to our bridge mode, okay? very similar to our bridge mode. But what happens is, in this case, you do not have an extra layer or an extra hop of, of Docker's inbuilt networking, which is there in the bridge mode. The bridge mode came from the Docker background, right? So here in this case, that extra hop doesn't happen and that's why you have better performance. If you compare the performance between bridge mode and host mode, host mode gives you better performance, but then, Please understand here also you have, uh, you know, you will have that problem as we saw in our first, uh, you know, part one tutorial, we saw that, uh, you know, the mapping thing you will have to, you will have to take care. So if port, uh, port 80 um, of the EC2 instance is mapped with certain port of container one, then of course port 80 of that instance cannot be mapped with something else, right? So that part will be there here as well. How does that get solved, right? There will be a question. That gets solved with the help of dynamic host port mapping. Uh, now, dynamic host port mapping is something which I will explain you in our next tutorial. And I will show you that using the bridge mode, how can you do dynamic host port mapping? But 
uh, please understand you cannot do dynamic host port mapping in case of host networking mode with bridge you can do right so i mean see it's a it's a thing that which networking mode would suit best in which scenario that is something which you will have to decide while you are architecting a solution you will have to see that what are the requirements of your solution and then accordingly you will have to choose it uh, as we are covering and showing you the demo of each and every type of networking modes i will tell you that in which scenario you should go ahead and use it so uh, i hope you are clear and you are also understood why host and aws network modes will give you the best performance because you know it it need not go through an additional hop or an additional layer of docker's internal networking right that's the that's the whole thing more and more as we move forward we will be using aws vpc networking mode because that is really really convenient to use i will do a complete video to show you the demo of that as well but with that i will end this particular video i hope you are enjoying our series follow this ecs playlist uh, you can get the link in the description below there are a lot of videos lined up for ecs share this video support us right in the comment section connect with us on linkedin see you guys take care bye bye keep learning